It's another delicious day here in the Let's Make Food from Food Kitchen and it's time for another Friday's Muddled Up. But this isn't just any Friday's Muddled Up. This is my final vacation follow-up cocktail for this last vacation, not for the next one. And also there's still a vacation follow-up for food. So that was a really long story, wasn't it? Um, if you'll remember our party animals, Sherilyn's got her party animal pig and I've got my party animal sheep here. It has to come back for an appearance on this video. So what I'm making is the Rum Runner. The reason I picked the Rum Runner is because it comes from Isla Mirada in the Florida Keys. That was our favorite place in the Florida Keys was Isla Mirada. It's a place called Holiday Isle Tiki Bar in Isla Mirada. And there, the story is in the 50s, there was an overabundance of rum. They were trying to figure out what to do it with it. So they came up with the Rum Runner. There is a lot of liquor in this folks. <laughs> so I caution you when you make one, have no plans to do anything later. Don't drive, don't go anywhere, ha take an Uber, take a Lyft, call a friend, whatever you've got to do. So a couple of things I need to do, I need to get some fresh squeezed orange juice. I'll need an ounce for one drink and a garnish. So let's go ahead and cut our garnish out first. That one's kind of thin and lame, like a thicker one. There we go. Ooh, this is juicy, that's gonna be good. Okay, I'm just gonna set these over here for the moment. My cutting board is still stained with my pomegranate juice. So we have some ingredients to talk about here. I have pineapple juice. I will put a link below on how to make your own pineapple juice if you want to. Uh, orange juice, meh, pretty self-explanatory, I think. This is blackberry liqueur. I will put a link down below to that video. This is house made. This is house made grenadine. There is some vodka in it and traditional grenadine doesn't have alcohol in it, but I wanted it to last longer in my fridge. So I added some 80 proof vodka to it so that it would last longer, but it's not the full amount that it would take to become a liqueur. So grenadine, dark rum, light rum, banana liqueur, didn't make the banana liqueur. Maybe another time I said liqueur instead of liqueur. Nah, we're gonna let it go. We're not gonna edit that out today. So I'm gonna make my orange juice really quickly here. And I just need one ounce for the drink. Okay, now we can actually get started with the makings of the makings of the cocktail. I need one ounce of orange juice. We're gonna be doing a lot of pouring into my glass. Set that aside, one ounce. One ounce of Yep, pineapple juice. I didn't smell it to see if it was pineapple juice. I smelled it to make sure it still smelled good. I don't make it every day. And I need one ounce of blackberry liqueur. <laughs> I almost went to the cups. That'd be yummy. Okay, there we go. And I know some people save that for the end or the grenadine for the end and pour it on top to give it a little color contrast. I just didn't really think that through until I poured it in. So I'm not gonna do that today. One ounce of dark rum, dark rum. See guys, this is getting dangerous because there's so much liquor in it. One ounce of light rum. Okay. And one ounce you guys see a theme here? One ounce, one ounce, one ounce, one ounce, one ounce. It's one ounce of everything except the grenadine and that's a splash, okay? So that keeps it simple, easy to remember. There we go. Our spoon. Stir that up. I'm gonna put some more ice in there, top it off. Oh, I don't want the water to get the ice, there we go, perfect. Then I'm gonna take my splash of grenadine. I'm gonna do it without spilling. Oof, beautiful. And then I'm just going to garnish it with my orange slice. There we go. I was gonna do this if it didn't stick, but it did. So there we are. There is our rum runner. Go see Isla Mirada in the Florida Keys, but please leave it beautiful. It's beautiful. Cheers. This is sitting by the pool, sitting by the beach, feet up, big umbrella shade, cool breeze coming in. It's your party animal and your good friend, Charlene. I mean, 
my good friend Sherilyn. I don't know who you, your good friend is. You'll have to figure that out. Thanks for joining me here today in the Let's Make Food from Food Kitchen. I'll put links down below for all the things that I made ahead of time. And from my kitchen to yours, thanks for joining me on another adventure and cheers. That's one boy coffee.